So let's look at the following example that deals with thin lenses. So suppose a lens with a power of negative 8.0 meters to negative 1 is held 10 centimeters in front of an object 3.00 millimeters high. We want to calculate in part A the image distance and in part B the image height. So let's begin by asking the following question. What kind of lens are we dealing with? And what exactly in this problem tells us what type of lens we have? So do we have a concave lens or are we dealing with a convex lens? So let's have a look at the following power. We know that power is negative 8 meters to the negative 1. Now, what exactly is the relationship between power and the focal length of our lens? So recall that power is equal to 1 divided by the focal length. Now, because our power is negative, that means our focal length is also negative. And the only time we're dealing with a, fo a negative focal length is when we have a diverging or concave lens. So that means our lens is in fact a diverging or concave lens. So now let's actually use the following equation to calculate what our focal length is. So P is equal to 1 divided by the focal length, so we know what P is, it's negative 8.0 meters to the negative 1. So if we solve for our focal length, we see that the focal length is equal to negative 0.125 meters or equivalently 12.5 centimeters. So that is our focal length, it's a distance from the center of our concave lens to our focal point. So we have focal point F and focal point F prime found on two sides of our lens. So let's begin with part A. In part A we want to calculate DI, the image distance, using the thin lens equation. So how far is our image formed from the center of our lens? So 1 divided by the focal length f is equal to 1 divided by the image distance di plus 1 divided by the object distance do. Now let's rearrange our equation and let's bring our knowns to the left side of our equation. 1 divided by the focal length minus 1 divided by the object distance is equal to 1 divided by the image distance. So now we're ready to solve for the right side of our equation. So we have negative 1 divided by 12.5 centimeters because our focal length is assumed to be negative. We're dealing with a concave lens. So this quantity is negative and notice we converted from meters to centimeters. Now what about our DO? What exactly is the object distance? Well the object distance, the object is found on the left side of our lens on the same side as the light, as where the light originates. And that basically means that our DO object distance is also positive. So this remains a negative. So we have negative 1 divided by 12.5 minus 1 divided by 10, and that gives us negative 0.18. So negative 0.18 is equal to 1 divided by DI. So now if we solve for DI, we see that the image distance is equal to approximately negative 5.6 centimeters. So what exactly is the meaning behind the negative sign? So recall, if our image distance is negative, that basically means we're dealing with a virtual image and this virtual image is found on the same side as where the light actually originates. So the image is found on the same side as the object to the left of our concave lens. So, the image is virtual. Let's move on to part B. Now we want to calculate the height of our image and we want to use the following relationship which comes from the magnification equation. So, 
the ratio of the image height to the object height is equal to negative of the image distance to the object distance. Now we know what the object height is, we know what the image distance is, that was found in part A and we know what the object's distance is. So let's solve for HI. The image height is equal to negative of the product of the object height and the image distance divided by the object distance. So let's keep our answer in centimeters. So we have HO that's given to be 3 millimeters or equivalently 0.3 centimeters. Now we have a negative in front and our DI was found to be negative. So negative multiply negative that becomes a positive. So 5.6 centimeters multiplied by 0.3 centimeters divided by our object distance which is given to be 10 centimeters. So these centimeters cancel and our answer should be in centimeters. So we multiply multiply divide we get our image height to be 0 0.168 centimeters or equivalently 1.68 millimeters so the image is upright how do we know well whenever the image height is positive that means our image is upright whenever the image height is negative that means our image is uh, upside down so Notice that our initial object height is 3 millimeters and our image is smaller. So if we actually use the ray diagram to draw our image, we get the following result. So, this purple arrow is our object given by O, this red arrow is our image given by I. Notice that the height of our image is smaller than the height of our object. And notice that our image is found on the left side of our uh, lens, and that means that our image distance is negative, as we found in part A. So also notice that the image is upright and that basically means our uh, image height is also positive as we found in part B.